My name is John Warner. I'm the President and Chief Technology Officer of the Warner Babcock Institute. This is a for-profit beakers and flask invention factory where we're trying to come up with ways of inventing materials that serve society that mitigate impacts on human health and the environment. I was born in Quincy, Massachusetts, huge blue-collar family. I grew up as a, as a musician, and so I decided to get a music degree at UMass. I had a science requirement. I chose chemistry just out of indecision, so I stumbled into the lab. And all of a sudden, it just made sense that scientists, and especially chemists, create things. They imagine things. They design things. So I'm at Polaroid, things are going really well. When disaster hits and I lose my two-year-old son John to a birth defect, lying awake in bed the night of his funeral saying to myself, I wonder if something I touched caused my son's birth defect. Nowhere in my education did I ever have any discussion about what makes a molecule toxic. I realized that there's something wrong in chemistry. I left Polaroid and I went to UMass because I felt we had to change the way we teach chemistry. One of the mistakes people make about green chemistry is they think green chemistry is the evaluation of a technology. Is it toxic? Is it not toxic? That is a tool to help green chemistry, but green chemistry is inventing the new technology. If one could have a body of knowledge that says, how do you make materials and molecules that don't hurt people and the environment? and at the same time enable you to be faster and more effective and more competitive commercially because by dealing with that you're fast to the market. If you could have a body of science that would train people to do that, wouldn't that be cool? That's green chemistry. We have an idea for hair color. We have an idea for wood adhesives. And now I'm looking at asphalt. There's a billion miles of U.S. roads. Every year, 10% has to be repaved because of the air oxidizes it. But because it's so brittle, it just goes to a landfill. And so I had this vision of a street Zamboni, that the Zamboni comes down, digs up in the front, and gets repaved by putting in some magic additive to make that work. We chose to do it the week of Thanksgiving. It was particularly cold. It was 17 degrees Fahrenheit. We contracted a local place. We dug up my driveway. We took a tiny percentage of this. We took a bunch of recycled pavement. We put it in there. They open it up. It pours out like sand. They scream like school children. They jump on their bulldozers. It worked. As the drop forms, you measure the contact. I'm an inventor that is passionate about green chemistry. I'm a green chemistry person that has a pretty good track record of inventing.